talk to you and have you really answer questions and go back and forth in dialogue. So um, just know that you're being prayed for and that you're missed and hopefully get to see you very soon. Okay, so this week I would like you to go grab your Bibles. Um, if you are in kindergarten, have mom help you. I want you to open your Bible to the middle. Remember that we have the Old Testament being a number of books and then the last section is the New Testament. So the very first book of the New Testament is Matthew. I want you to open up to Matthew 7 verses 21 and have it ready. Okay? So I had the opportunity to, one of the kids that I work with, just kidding, one of the kids that I work with um, for school uh, kind of was working through something this week and she gave me permission to kind of interview her and talk about the thing that she was working with, going through, and um, you guys get to see the video, and then we'll talk about it. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop here and watch the video, and then we will come back and talk in a second. So, Hi friends, so I'm um, here with my friend Emma, and we are going to talk about something that we, and Wesley, we're going to talk about something that we have been talking about this week, and I want her to share a little story. And then we will um, talk about it a little more. Okay, so what was the book when you were in doing school that you wanted to avoid? What was it called? It was called Sinkhole Science. Yes, and so this was an assignment that she had to finish because she couldn't move up to the next assignment. And her teacher really encouraged her, you gotta do it so you can move up and get some more um, challenging books, right? And finally today, we decided just to jump in and work on it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And what are some things that we learned after that? Um, okay, so what were some of the feelings you felt just thinking about the sinkholes? It was scary. Mm -hmm. And a lot of what was scary was you didn't just really understand it, right? Mm -hmm. So she sees this picture, and it's a picture in Venezuela, and there's this whole city block that um, kind of just caved in. And so we spent time and we learned more about it and read a book, right? Mm -hmm. And then afterwards, we realized it uh, wasn't quite as scary because we kind of found out the reasons why, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So do you remember some of the reasons why sinkholes were happening? Because um, 
some of the it, it was because it, um, people haven't been checking the mm -hmm. pipes underground, and it would get old and. So a lot of time it was water erosion and different stuff, eating it, the bedrock and sand and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, while we were talking and realized some of the beautiful sinkholes around the world um, happened. So what was the, where was the deepest one? The deepest one is in... In China? No, it, it was in I th Egypt, I think. Yeah, I think the, the biggest was in Egypt and the deepest was in China or something like that, right? Yeah. Um, but, so we saw some really cool pictures and stuff about it, but there was a story that came to mind. Do you remember what the story was? Or actually, song first. I won't make her sing it, but the song we uh, were singing was, Don't build your house. On the, the sand. Yeah. Don't you build your house near the shore. If you do, you'd have to build it. <laughs> yeah. Might be kind of nice, but you'll have to build it twice. Okay, well, we won't torture you with my singing at the moment, but it will be a song that we can play later. Um, but it was also reminding me of Matthew 7, um, 21 through 27. So if you have a chance to open your Bibles, that would be awesome, the book of Matthew. And um, we will talk about that a little more soon, all right? Um, and also, you got to get up and sing the song. Right, Wesley? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Emma. Mm -hmm. Bye. All right, I hope you enjoyed um, that little show. I'm very proud of Emma and how far she's come with the story because um, there was a lot of anxiety and stress and stuff this last week with trying to decide when she was going to do the story. So, as we talked about at the end of the little video, um, what this, the story that we kept coming up with was Matthew 7 and uh, the wise and the foolish builders. And before I read the scripture, I just want to say I grew up on the coast. And um, I remember a lot of, like, when we would sing that song at BBS or at Sunday school, to be it made perfect sense because we saw it in action. You built something at the beach, it was not expected to stay forever, right? Um, people tried, but it wasn't going to because of erosion, because of waves, because of sand, because of a lot of different factors, wind. And um, I remember there was a place called Airport Heights above, and it basically it was sand dunes that they were slowly making into houses, complexes and stuff. And I always thought it was so strange that that would pass code and be able to happen having houses on it because there's this song and there's these verses and you're not supposed to build on sand. But anyways. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and um, hope you have your Bibles out. We're going to go into Matthew 7 right here. And all right, we're going to go ahead and start with verse 24. Okay, the wise and foolish builders. So then, everyone who hears my words and puts them into practice is like a wise man. He builds his house on the rock. The rain comes down, the water rises, the winds blow and beat against that house, but it does not fall. It is built on the rock. But everyone who hears my words and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man. He builds his house on the sand. The rain comes down, water rises, wind blows and beats against the house, and it falls with a loud crash. Okay, so Jesus is finishing talking to the crowd here, and um, the, the crowd was just amazed at his, at his teaching. And I've always loved this story, partly because of what I said before of where I grew up, but also um, it can just be such a, it's, it's a, a very obvious or clear to me um, of where we put our foundation is what matters. And um, I'm very thankful for this story and also um, for how far Emma came with this idea with the sinkholes. We learned so much about this, but how our choices and stuff are part of our foundation. And um, a lot of the sinkholes that have happened in large areas could be, in theory, could be prevented, especially in big cities, by um, just possibly paying the, the builders stuff paying a little bit more attention to where and what was happening with the pipes and stuff. But you know, things do happen. and. Uh, so, anyways, um, hope you enjoyed this, and have a wonderful week.